It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. Uh, Queens, a squatter who rented out homes in a woman's million... Come on. This squatter is renting out rooms, guys. I got to go and see if I can find that number. Hold on. Hi, and yes, I'm trying to see if you have a room available in Queens at the squatter house. <laughs> I don't know who to call on that one, guys. There's probably someone to call. It came a month after the homeowner was arrested for trying to change the locks. You guys remember, I did the story. I did the first, I broke it. First story out there was the Mark Inspire story of the lady Esmeralda, and she was arrested for trying to change her locks in her own house. And then I was like, this does sound familiar. Are they doing this? No, this guy was arrested because he was renting out rooms. <clears throat> yes, that's my belly. <laughs> I, I didn't know you could hear that through the phone. Hi, uh, is this Husma Rokop? I don't know who, to, I, I got nobody to call still. Uh, he claimed that he was a legal tenant in Andorallo was trying to legally evict him. That's what I said, Esmeralda, I was close. It was Andorallo, Andalaro. Okay, so look, he claimed he was a legal tenant by means of breaking through the front door when she was out getting groceries. That's his house now. Also his country came here, just walked across, got debit cards. They gave him a house, he's just like, I don't like this one. I'm going to steal Andorallaro's. And then changing, you know, locks and stuff. He gets, I'm arresting her. He signed a lease for $3,200 a month and moved in subletters. Guys, Rodriguez claimed he realized something was amiss when Andalaro showed up. I need a month or two to get them out, he told the Post before his arrest. I am re I'm ready to give the house back to Miss Adele. I'll take the L on this one. The house, the house really beat me up. This mother goes and jumps in, takes over. What is a squatter? A New York squatter rights law known as adverse possession allows an individual to occupy a property without the homeowner's permission. A New York, in New York City, a squatter can claim rights to occupy a property in just 30 days. Uh, you go away to that dream vacation in Italy. You just couldn't wait. You know, and your husband said, you know, what if we just take a stop up to, we're going to Switzerland. We're going to go and then we'll take a little trip across to the Isles and play around the golf over there. Padraig Herndon's going to meet us. And then they're out there playing. They take the long trip home, you know, by ferry. <laughs> and when they get back, you know, it's not even your house anymore. It was stolen. It was stolen. New York squatters' right. The squatter can claim rights up to 30 days, you know, and to they just break in, you know, you went out, you did it. You had a wedding to go to. It was a destination wedding. You had to get on the cruise ship, Disney, seven ports. You know, you bring the kids. The little guy fell over the, you know, the side. He was just getting a little frisky. They were playing, having a little catch in the side football. He went for the dive. He was like, I'm going over the pack, over the side of the boat. <laughs> Took him 10 minutes, stop, turn around. Good swimmer, Timmy. He came back up and, you know, by the time they got home, there's a squatter in the house. It takes an average of 20 months for an eviction case to be resolved in New York City. Isn't that a lot of fun when you own a million dollar piece of property that you, you know, decided to go to the grocery store, came back and it was no longer yours. <clears throat> Attorney Gerald Levine told Fox News that Rod Rodriguez was innocent. You know, of what everything is on record. I can tell you he is not guilty, Levine said. <laughs> Levine, 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 hold on a minute, Levine. You gotta be freaking kidding me. <laughs> Sonny, I got an amplifier behind me, Sonny. Sonny, you got goof. You got cough cup? I'm here. I'm on my table. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, Gino, for cough cup. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gino, I like the espresso. 
It smells fantastic. You got a biscuit for me to double dip into the double decker? Oh, the espresso. Gino. Did you forget to put sugar in the raw? In my espresso? I'm here at my table, Gino. Oh, thank you, Gino. Is Gino still waiting on them biscuits? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sonny, I can't hear you over the stupid cough cup. You got a cough cup? Me, 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 me. This guy, he's had a coffee cup in his hand since 84. The Mets were winning with the last time. If I remember, that's why he's been there like this since, because the Mets, Doc Gooden. Dwight the Doctor and Daryl Strawberries. They were together. They were doing it. In the, in the Bronx, we had a problem with them. They got Sonny back <laughs> So, uh, Sonny. You know, Sonny, we got to get you a, 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 like a bottom half to the body. Poor Sonny. He's, just, he's all torso. <laughs> You're all torso, Sonny. Oh, thank you, Gino, for the biscuit. Better late than never. Oh, rubbish! Gino, that's a biscuit and express combo. They talk about it in Sicily. Anyway, guys, that's Dick Foch. He's one of my original characters. I'm, I'm a bit of an animal with the Foch. I call him Dick Foch. Uh, anyway, back to the squatters. Sometimes there's a squatter and then they have an attorney named Levine. And Levine's like, he's innocent. <laughs> Good old Levine, still keeping that license, huh, buddy? You know, when you're Levine and you're out there and you're protecting Rodriguez, who's squatting in people's houses, in the bathrooms as well, you know? He's there squatting in the house, squatting in the bathrooms. He's, he said the place is a wreck. You know, I'm sure he's dropping deuces there on the bedroom floor. He's just like, I don't care anymore. It's not my house. Well, technically, you know, he starts talking, you know, legally, legal terms. I got 20 months here. The house is unrecognizable when you go back in, you know. That's, those, are, those are the tenants that you look for. I'm sorry, it's oh, it's a proxy. That's right. Tenants pay. Oh, goodness. Levine. Gerald Levine. A oh, Levine. I, I've got to tell you, uh, he's absolutely, completely not guilty. My client, he stubbed his toe and fell into the house. And then he's in there, and then his toe hurt. He gets ice. He's like, you know what? This toe is getting inflamed. I think i got to post myself here for the next 20 months. Totally innocent. Oh, Levine, you did it again, didn't you? He's, they're proud of him when he sits down for kibosh. I don't even know what the hell that is. He just made it up, the name. Kibosh? I think it's kibosh. <laughs> he put on the kibosh there. Everything's on record, though, guys. Oh, I'm so happy to be back doing the comedy news. Anyway, I hope you guys are, you know, having fun. Smack the screen, share, leave a comment, like, all the good stuff. And turn on all notifications on YouTube. Greek, right? Greek is in the house. Rodriguez, 35, faces charges of second-degree burglary, fourth-degree grand, grand larceny, fourth-degree criminal possession of stolen property, stolen second-degree criminal trespass. Guys, he's trespassing criminally. Fourth-degree criminal mischief. And the assistant district attorney, William Your Hanginson, asked Judge Tony Capino, Camino to jail Rodriguez on a $100,000 bail. I think it should have been a million. It's a million dollar house. You put him in for a million dollar bail, right? He's got to have some friends, right, that have also been squatting. Kelly, how are you? Good to see you, my friend. He's got to have somebody out there. They're squatting in a house. Together, they pool their funds because they're all subletting, you know, the rooms to, to other illegals. And the house that they squatted in and now they technically own. Oh, goodness. On May 13th, the bail and the restraining order to keep him away from Andalaro 
Camino granted the order of protection but released Rodriguez. Of course he did, without bail, I imagine, right? A repeat offender with burglary and narcotics convictions on supervised home confinement. Yeah, guys, that one's, this is another great, like, just story about the legal system in New York. Let's just let him out. Prior convictions, repeat offender, by the way. This is no bail in it. We're just going to have somebody check in on him. So, squatter, guys, it happened. NASA reveals glass smooth lake cooling lava on surface of Jupiter's moon. So now we can see the surface of Jupiter. Is that what we're doing? Please hit the like on the way out the door, leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.